Good morning. It is 6.20 and I'm just getting ready to leave. I have everything packed up, ready to go. Most of everything is already in my truck. I am not going to work today. I'm actually headed up north here in Wisconsin and I'm headed to a dairy farm uh, by some friends and I'm going to take a few days off and do some bow hunting. It should be a lot of fun. So I'm going to take you guys along. I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? I really hope that I did not forget anything. I'm literally the worst guy to travel in the world. I forget everything. Man, this place is absolutely packed. Thank you. How's the beverage business? Busy? No help? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty common. Yeah. Morning, Scott. Greetings, buddy. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm not working today, I'm going hunting. Oh, okay. Taking a few days off. Good luck. Yeah, should be fun. Either way, still gonna be fun. Now, in this kind of weather, work has got to be a little bit slower for you anyway. Yep, starting to slow down. Got a couple jobs left. I pour one driveway, and then I just had a big stamp patio come in that we're going to try to get done to. Oh, all right, well, you have a great one. I will, you also. All right. Enjoy. Good luck to you. Thank you. Chris. Man, five cashiers, and you still have a line. That's crazy, That's man. You guys are busy. Always. Very busy. Yeah. All right, have a good one. See you next time. Yep. This place is absolutely packed. Look at this. 6.30 in the morning. Somebody's making some easy money. Not me today. I'm spending easy money. We are just pulling into Stevens Point, Wisconsin. This is about halfway to where I'm going. I always stop here every time I come up and go hunting. They have a Mills Fleet Farm here, which if you watch my videos, you already know, it's one of my favorite stores. So we are definitely gonna stop there. Mills Fleet Farm hooking up our military 10% discount. It's one of the reasons I love this place. Back on the road, it's 923. We are just getting off the highway in Thorpe. And uh, this is a place where I stop several times every time I come up here because we normally will come here for breakfast after the morning hunt. But this is the Thorpedo. I've been here many times. They have good food, but they seriously have the best coffee I have ever tasted in my life. Hi. Right. Yep, just Thanks. just myself. Sit anyway. All right, thank you. How are you today? Doing well. How are you? Good. Thank you. You can keep all that. Thank you very much. <clears throat> pouring concrete at the new Quick Trip. Man, I wish I was over there pouring concrete right now. Man, I love concrete. I love concrete a little too much. I'm up here to go hunting and relax, but 
I'd like to be right over there right now. We will be back in the concrete next week. I have that driveway to pour and then a pretty big colored and stamped patio that just came in. All right, here we go. We are here. We made it to the farm. Yes. Let's go check it out. There he is. There he is. How's it going? Going. Yeah. Cows are still getting milked, I see. Yes. Yeah. Is this one Porky or Chance? I can't it's remember. Chance. Chance. Is Porky still alive? Yeah. He's yeah. Right, well, he got, right there he is behind you. There he is. He got hit by a car earlier this year. And... He got hit by a car and he's still fine? Yeah. Well, That's no, my kind not. of dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the car. Mean, hopefully the car didn't take too much damage. Well, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's limping around. He got hit on the the one leg and back. It's I don't know. He's, he's getting better. He's starting to move around now. But there That's for a what while, he gets he for. He didn't do anything. He just laid. There yeah. For sure. Yep. So I get away for a couple of days. My life's been a whirlwind this summer. It's been crazy. I can imagine. It's I've been, been very, watching a few. Of you. Very busy. Actually, I have never milked a cow. Ryan did. Ryan did. My son. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. I've always had. Good, I've always. Oh, I've always had good luck in the pine trees with okay. the do, with the does. No, because farms are farms are very interesting. Not to you as much, but to people that don't farm, they are very interesting. It's a completely different lifestyle. Well, All right, I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna take a walk over there. Okay. I'm gonna go say hi to Nathan unless he's sleeping. Yep, he's sleeping. I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm gonna leave him alone. We're gonna head across the street because nobody's really been over here, he said, to hunt. Every time I leave this farm, whatever truck I'm in is just completely destroyed with mud. I'm taking this truck in Monday morning to get wrapped. So it's gonna get wrapped next week. It should be pretty cool. All right, I can talk for a while because I have a long, long walk to get back there. It's 11.38 right now. So have plenty of time to scout for a couple hours and figure out where I wanna hunt. The wind is going to be perfect for this stand back here. The corn is planted right to the edge. This is going to be a difficult walk. Oh man. Oh. All right, this is the kind of stuff you're looking for right here. Look at this scrape. They've been working this right here. That's pretty cool. All right, so there's an old hay wagon right here that we often hunt out of, especially when it's really, really cold during gun season. That was a nice place to sit and take a little nap. All you deer hunters know what I'm talking about. You can still say that you're hunting <laughs> when you're sleeping. All right, so that's the first stand there. Last time I checked, it was not the greatest. And this is so relaxing. I don't even have a bow in my hand yet. I'm just checking things out. It's just absolutely beautiful out here. There's nobody around me at all. 
for a long distance. It's quiet. It's beautiful. It's awesome. You know, some people get so into hunting, so obsessed with hunting, you could say, that uh, all they concentrate on is the hunt and killing the deer. Uh, the guys that are serious are usually after one deer, sometimes two deer. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you're really into that, but I just love to sit and uh, just take it all in and just appreciate it all. It's the peace and the quiet. It's being alone. It is enjoying the things that God has made. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's one of the reasons why I love hunting so much. Now, <laughs> don't get me wrong, it can get really boring after a while. If you're not seeing anything, it can get frustrating. It can get very frustrating when you miss or an opportunity that you think is gonna happen. It's right there on the edge, doesn't materialize. That can be frustrating. Right, I'm going to be careful on the way down here because this stand is not the safest. All right, I'm going to go check out one more stand. Actually, I needed to check out two more stands. Let's get out of here. My son loves to hunt in this stand. This was the very first stand. I sat with Ryan here the first time he hunted several years ago. I remember sitting here and it was chilly. It was pretty cold opening morning and Ryan was just freezing. I think I'm gonna sit in the first one. All right, I'm gonna go check one last stand on the other side of the farm. So there are wolves here. Wolves have been spotted on this very farm. So I usually do carry a firearm when I go bow hunting here. I don't have one on me now. But I will later, when I come back out. There's black bear here too, but they usually won't bother you. Actually, Ryan and I, last year we were driving in that field that we came in on when it was a hay field and a black bear scurried right in front of our truck and ran in the woods. It was pretty cool to see. It was right where Ryan had just walked, like one minute earlier. All right, so we're headed to the other side of the farm. So my stand is up here in the corner, right on the corner here. And what the deer do, the does, they'll come out the inside corner there and then they'll work their way this way. And uh, I can get a shot right there. I have a really nice clear shooting lane right there. Got my pull rope, which looks like it broke or something chewed it, but it's still fine. This stand is a little tricky to get into. So this is my view from this stand in the pine trees, which is nice because if they come down this edge here, I have a shot here, I have a shooting lane here, shooting lane here, and then I'm blocked, but I have a large shooting lane right here. All right, so I'm gonna head back to the house and think about where I wanna hunt. All right, I'm just grabbing my stuff to go. It's like 2.30, 2.45-ish. It's about that time. All right, what is going on here? No, no, no. Just stole my muffin wrapper. <sighs> oh, come on. Get out. Out. <sighs> Cats everywhere. I just need to throw my clothes on and get out of here. Definitely you have orange cats in the gene pool around here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of orange cats around here. 
and they love my truck. Get out of here. Oh, there's two up there. Kittens, cats, everywhere. Why don't you chase the cats? You're not doing your job at all. Come on. Do your job. Go chase the cats. All right, so I am leaving the farmhouse. I decided to hunt in the very first stand we looked at on the edge of the cornfield. So I'm gonna head over there. It's like 318 right now. Kind of a long walk, but we'll get over there, set up and relax and enjoy a beautiful evening no matter what happens. I think I got everything that I need. I'm just gonna grab my bow and my backpack and take a walk. Never forget your release. I think I did that once or twice and that was a bummer. Let's go. Let's go. Man, I've been looking forward to this. All right, I am back at the truck. We are done for the day. That was a good day. That was very enjoyable. I enjoyed the drive up and I enjoyed my time hunting and just looking around at the farm, scouting. It's a lot of fun. What are you doing? Uh, I did, I saw one buck, not big enough to shoot, so I let him pass by. All right, we just got done with dinner. That was a very fun day and a great night. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. I did not go hunting this morning because there are chores to do on the farm, which is fine. The morning hunts here are not that great anyway, but we're going to head back out this evening. Uh, right now, we're going to go say good morning to the girls. I think there's some work to be done in the barn, and uh, it's just a gorgeous morning once again. Beautiful sunrise on the farm. Cats everywhere as you saw yesterday <laughs> but yeah it's 
This is just an awesome place. Good morning, ladies. Why are you guys so lazy? Why are you laying down like this? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, look, a little calf. Good morning. Good morning. I said good morning. Not real friendly around here. How are you girls doing? Good morning, ladies. Oh, reeks in here. How much poop do you make? Oh. Oh. Wow. All right. I'm going to clean up this aisle because it needs cleaning because these cows make a mess. Wow. All right. All right, I'm cleaning this up so you need to stop. No more. You understand me? I'm cleaning all this up back here. So take it easy. Right on my camera. Just like shoveling snow. Now I'm gonna spread some lime in the aisle to dry it up. Quiet down. Thank you. Why are you so scared? All right, I'm gonna grab some lime, dry up the floor, dry up my hands. Yeah. This is just like spreading salt. Honestly, that reminded me of shoveling a sidewalk and then salting it in the winter. Same difference. Except it smells a lot worse in here. All right, we're out of here. All right, we just cleaned the center aisle in the barn, and I'm going to run to Quick Trip. There's a guy that works there. I don't know if he's there right now, but we're friends, and uh, he doesn't know that I'm here. So I'm going to try to surprise him. If he's not working today, I'll go back tomorrow, but it should be fun. All right, we are at Quick Trip in Stanley, Wisconsin. So we're going to see if my friend is in here or not. Either way, we're going to get some coffee. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How's the coffee business? Wonderful. All right. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Oh, yeah, really All right. All right, I'm going to try to call Tom on the phone because he doesn't work till Tuesday. Maybe we can stop at his house to deliver his hat. All right, go ahead. You're up in my neighborhood, huh? I sure am. I brought you something too. I brought you a hat. Oh, I got you something too. 
All right. Well, we got to get together then. All right. I'll see you in a little while. Okay, Ryan. All right. Good. Yep. Bye bye. All right. I'm stopping at the sports shop. I'm going to see if they have any uh, scent elimination spray. I'm sure they do. How's it going? You got any scent spray? Scent elimination spray? Yeah. Cool, man. We'll have a good rest of your day. You good too. weekend. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's head over to Tom's house. All right, here we are. Let's go say hi. Howdy. Victory style. Yes. <laughs> how's it going? Good. How you doing? Really, really good. Come on in. So, how's your day going? Good. Yeah? Good check up at the doctor. Yeah, I'm going to take my boots off because I was in the dairy barn there oh okay. yeah yeah not good are you filming yes i'm always filming <laughs> yeah now i'm gonna be on youtube <laughs> yes we'll make you famous now you got here's your hat between. easy money style oh easy money yes I very always, easy. i always tell that to dan when he comes in a quick trip <laughs> easy money all right well, i'm gonna take yeah. off it was great to meet you yeah you too yeah i'm gonna try to do this on my tour just meet okay. people that you know watch the channel and and uh just say hi stop in and say hi to as many people as i can <laughs> all right we'll see you yeah good to see you all Ryan. right see you man I hope your wife enjoys the cookies <laughs> oh the they will too. yeah my my daughters love to bake cookies so yeah. all right, all right nice have a great weekend yeah, i just got back to the farm come here come come on champs cats around here have been through war as you can see you've been through war the reality of being a farm cat all right let's go milk some cows chance what are you doing why are you super lazy I thought farm dogs were supposed to be hard workers and you just lay around all day come on and look at you don't even chase the cat look at this chase the cat no 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 chase the cat ay 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 oh i see you guys are friends all right i got you i got you i got you yeah you're dusty you've been laying in the dirt you are dusty how's it going Good. What are you chewing on? You got gum? I scraped the floor this morning and the, uh, what's his name, the little boy? Owen? Uh, yeah, he said I didn't do a very good job. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said I didn't know what I was doing. Is that what he said? Yeah. He said you missed a whole bunch of spots. He said I had to go clean up after you. <laughs> so do you usually do it looks like you do three at a time? Basically? I'm doing four, but I got some, I gotta take a milk or in the so we can here. So this cow is done, so I'm taking it off. Gotcha. I don't know if I got help for trying to run the seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do it by myself. Right. I'm too old. <laughs> 65 cows that you milk ish somewhere around there but how long does it take you to get through all these by yourself three, a couple, hours. three hours twice a day six hours just milking man So easy money to me.
Who knew cows could be cute? Not me. Did you ever try to serve yourself by holding a camera with the other hand? It doesn't really work that good. recording your food? Oh, you have to. Thank you very much. Boy. Actually, the best way to eat cheese curds. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. A little grease, a little burger grease. Oh, yeah. Wow. So how'd you get into farming? Well, I guess my dad was a farmer, and so I was around it all my life and so I grew up on a farm and I enjoyed it from a, from a child so it's one thing I knew all my life and so that's I had a desire always to farm so yeah. that's what I did and then he went to from there we moved to Waterloo which was 160 acres so how many acres do you have here 355 acres here right now we grow corn beans and Hey. It takes that many acres to feed those cows. Well, they eat a lot. <laughs> they eat a lot. <laughs> yeah, that was one piece of equipment that's always impressive to watch is the poop flinger. I mean, I don't know what the technical term is. I just call it a poop flinger. <laughs> yeah. You're you're tied to those animals. You can't just you can't. Yeah, you can't just leave and and leave for a week. You can't even leave for a couple days. You know? People that are direct marketing have gone down to once a day milking. I learned from being here that farming is not for me. <laughs> I'm gonna stay a city guy. <laughs> I mean, I like it here. It's fun to get away. Yeah. And it's fun to experience uh, what somebody else's life is mm -hmm. like. Yeah. And uh, just to you know realize that you guys put in the work here and it's getting pretty late. So I'm gonna let you get to bed. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Right, thank I appreciate you. it. Yeah. I'm going to be leaving in the morning. So. Oh, you are? Yep, okay. yep. So we did have some fun on the farm today. I did end up going hunting tonight. Uh, it was very windy. I didn't see any deer, so I'm not going to put any of that up. It was boring. Uh, the wind was like 30 to 40 miles an hour. I almost got blown right out of the tree. I actually ended up getting down a little bit early. I was cold, and I hunted from the ground uh, for the remainder of the evening. <clears throat> but that's okay. I enjoyed my time quite a bit. Uh, tonight, I'm just going to edit uh, really late into the night and try to get a video done. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow morning. I'm going to get up and have breakfast. Then I'm going to head home. Uh, tomorrow, I have an estimate, and then I'll be working on videos again. So uh, it was a good time. I really enjoyed just being away, uh, even though I didn't you know, shoot a deer. That wasn't necessarily the point of coming here. Uh, I just wanted to uh, have a little time to uh, kind of recharge the battery and get ready for all the work I had ahead of me. <clears throat> so I can't wait to get back home, finish up the jobs that we have left, and uh, then head out and travel. So, all right, I'm going to start working on a video. Uh, this was an awesome trip. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. I know it's a little different than my typical videos, uh, but this is what I did. You know, this was my little, my little getaway, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. So, all right, I will see you guys. Let's see. I will see you guys Monday morning. Adios.